Hey, what's going on my fellow jewelers? So today we're back in the resin world. That's right, I love me some resin. Now when I watch like how to resin videos, cause I watch YouTube just like you guys do, but when I watch resin videos on how to make resin or really pretty jewelry, I actually watch resin coasters. That's right. I don't know, something about the resin jewelry just, you know, ain't my thing. But when I see these coasters, I was like, I wanna make that into an earring or I wanna make that into a pendant. So this is what we're making today. <gasps> Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. We got the white and then we got this kind of gold resin and then we have foil, gold foil with the clear resin. Oh my gosh. I love this earring so much. I love the coaster, but when I made an earring, I'm like, oh, that's right. That, that That's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I also made these beauties along with it. Oh, I want to make into earrings. Look at these things. Oh my gosh. They're going to be cute and dangly. I am so excited. So you see the white, you see the gold line that I did and then the clear with the gold foil. Mm, I'm all about that. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell, get notifications because I'm all about the how to's of jewelry making, whether resin, whether bead jewelry, I got your back. And I usually say right about this time, let's get started. But I really want to encourage you to make sure that you are safe with resin and epoxy. Epoxy is super toxic, super chemicals, not great for your body. Everybody reacts differently. Put on the gloves, put on a mask, have a window open so that you can have um, the proper circulation coming in, the proper ventilation coming in, and make sure that you are safe. And wear clothes that you don't care if it gets resin on it because it kind of destroys it. So I just really want to encourage you to make sure that you are being safe. It's so important that you are safe. All right, guys, you and me, let's get started. Okay, let's get started um, making these jewelry pieces, whether earrings or pendant. Now, I already mix my um, resin together, I mix my epoxy together. I'm using Jade Diction because it, it actually cures a lot faster. It doesn't cure four hours for jewelry, it does for bigger projects, but this still cures faster than any other epoxy I've used. So I've already mixed, uh, I've already mixed equal parts of A and B. So right here, I stirred it, mixed it. I got a little um, excited and I mixed it too fast and there's tons of bubbles. So one way you can um, help uh, to take away bubbles is just to let it rest for a little bit. So I've let it rest. Um, now for these particular earrings, we're going to divide this epoxy into um, three different sections, um, three different cups. So we're going to have a cup for white, um, a cup for the foil, and a cup for the gold. Now the cup for the gold, the the, the amount we need for the gold is very, very little. So I'm gonna try to um, have as much as possible, 50% for white and 50% for the gold, and maybe just a tad, I mean like less than a percent for the gold. So let's do that first. I'm gonna get a, a cup, and I am going to um, pour about 50% into this cup. I don't know how much 50% is for real because um, because there's no measuring on here. And so I just kind of have to eyeball it out. And then whichever one has the bigger amount, I pour that. This one looks like it has a bit bigger amount, not by much. And I just pour just a tiny bit. I don't need very much for the gold. I have just a tiny bit for the gold. Um, maybe I'll add just a little bit of this too, just to be equal. I know I said 50 and 50, probably like... I don't know, 48, 48, and I get two in here. I don't know. I'm not, uh, it's not a science. It's not like very specific when it comes to dividing these amounts. Okay, that looks really good. So I have about half and half here and a little bit there. Um, I'm going to add a couple, I'm going to shake this first. Always shake your paint. I am using this apple barrel paint. Always shake your paint um, and then do a couple drops. I tend to go overboard. Don't go too overboard or become slime. Um, like not the kind you can use, but it just becomes really thick and it's not very good. Don't use too much, but don't use too little. So I'm gonna mix my white up. I'm gonna mix my white. Um, and how I can tell if I like the color is I look, I grab some on my stick and as it runs off, if it's too um, transparent for me, then I like to add some more white. And so I will mix this until I'm satisfied with the color. I, re I really want um, a really um, like a thick white where there's no like see-through in the the epoxy and so if i i would add more if i wanted more this looks pretty good to me um i might add just a drop more but it looks pretty good and then with this i want to add my my gold foil oh it's so pretty the white and gold just really pop and so i'm gonna grab um 
not clumps. I don't like the clumps because it's hard to pull them apart. So I'll probably pull them apart later with my finger for another project. And I just like to grab some gold foil. Again, it, depending on how much epoxy you have, um, you don't want to make it so you can't see the white, the clear, the epoxy. You want to be able to kind of have the gold floating in there. Okay, so apparently my storage was too full and I record the whole thing. Um, and so I'm going to just try to jump in and show you how to do it. I already did two. Actually, I did three, but I'm going to just pretend I didn't. <laughs> and so you were seeing me um, add uh, foil to this. And so you just want to add enough foil so that you have a lot of clear spots and then a foil in a couple places. Um, and then you're going to add like a really thin layer. I don't know if you can see that, just like the bottom of it, a thin layer of epoxy here. And then you're just going to add in some mica. You don't need a lot. And so you just want it so that um, it's not really that clear. You want it to be like completely gold. You don't want there to be any like epoxy, clear epoxy you can see. You just want that. So let me show you how to do these babies because these are beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna do these ones at a diagonal. I did this at a diagonal um, and this one, but I did these straight across. I'm gonna do this a diagonal. You could do it straight across. You could do it, um, you could do the foil at the bottom, at the top, but this one I wanna do the foil just at the bottom diagonal. So I'm gonna take my clear epoxy that has the foil in it, and I am going to go at a diagonal, just like at the bottom diagonal right here. Yep, and you want to kind of push your your um, foil around so it's evenly um, in the clear and you want like the clear epoxy and then I'm going to take my white and when I feel it, I'm going to first make a line right near the clear so that the clear doesn't want to go anywhere else. And so I'm making that line and then I'm feeling the rest. Now, when you are filling it, you're going to be adding that gold line right between the white and the clear like at that border and so you don't want to fill it all too much this is a really thick um this is a really thick mold for this particular uh teardrop um jewelry piece and so i'm okay to fill it a lot more than these guys this is super thin that's a little bit thicker so i didn't fill it as much as i usually would and now i'm going to take my gold and i'm going to try to drip it oh it wants a clump so make sure I'm trying not to get a clump. It's already drying. Okay. And I'm going to take my gold and I'm going to make a line down between the two of these colors. Ah, just like that. And when you're doing that, it doesn't look like much, but you're actually adding more epoxy, which will fill your, um, your mold. And so you're going to want to make sure that you don't fill your mold all the way between the white and the clear, the white epoxy and the clear with the, the foil in it and you're just going to make a line and it's going to do its thing. It's going to start spreading and doing fun things. And so then after you do that, you're going to hit it with, um, with, with fire. You're going to hit it with heat because you want to get those bubbles out, especially with these, they already have a hole made for you. This little, there's a little thing right here and it makes a hole for you. And that's where bubbles like to hang out a lot. And so if you're seeing a bubble and the fire won't get it, just put a little epoxy on top of it and then it will go behind it and then you can hit with fire again it's so like this is my worst nightmare when i get a bubble right by where the hole should be because sometimes it won't like it'll be completely exposed and i can't even like make it into an earring anymore and it just like i have to throw it out because the hole made it so that it was too big a hole so now you can't put a jump ring in there which is super annoying right and so that's how you do it. And you just put your clear and then you put your white on right by the clear and fill it up, not all the way. And then you put your gold, put a gold line and it just starts to spread. See how this is spreading and that's spreading. So I'm going to do that for the next one. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. So let me fast forward with this second one of mine. Okay. And that is how you make these beautiful earrings. Now again, be careful because this is super thick so I can add a lot more epoxy and be fine about it. This is super thin. And so you just have to barely put it on, barely put it on and just make sure you're not overfilling because it just, it kind of, um, the design goes and you overfill and then you have to cut it off. Um, and yeah, and make sure again that you are wearing your gear. Your gear is so important to wear so that you can be protected. All right, it is the next day. They are dry. I'm excited to unmold for you. And then when I shut down the video, I had extra um, 
epoxy and did these beauties as well. So let's unmold. Let's unmold the main one I did yesterday. Um, isn't this pretty how the gold spread out? I just, I love doing this. I've done it with black and the mold doesn't spread like it does with the white and it's so pretty. So um, this is not my favorite side. The nice thing about jewelry is that um, I can do the side that you're not supposed to do. <laughs> and so I, I have loved doing um, the side that, that's supposed to be the back. I love making it the front because it's much prettier. And so with jewelry, I like to do that. So this is nice and all, it's all right. It's not my favorite, right? But when I flip it over, I love it. So I'm gonna do the, actually the back side to be the front side. <laughs> in your face, uh, whoever's supposed to be in your face. Okay, <laughs> so um, these guys, let's unmold these. Oh, that's pretty on that side. What do you do on this side? <gasps> Ooh, now see, these guys are prettier in the back and these guys are prettier in the front. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's so pretty. I love that I can pick any side I want to and it'll be good. So super pretty. Um, let's unmold these puppies. Oh, now that, this is what I had in mind. Kind of just the gold kind of staying there and kind of spreading a little bit. <gasps> I love, I love that this is my favorite. I love these so very much. Oh my goodness. These just tickle me. These are gonna be gorgeous as earrings. I love it. I love it so, oh, I love these so much. I love the, the white, the gold, and then the foil. And it just, to me, these, these jewelry pieces just pop. Look at these beautiful, oh, I love them, I love them. And look at, I made me a little pendant instead of an earring. I made me a pendant, so I got like a matching set because it's so stinking cute. What do you think? You like bringing the coaster to the jewelry world? Because I sure do. I love it, I love it, love it. Comment, share, like. I want to hear your thoughts. I also want to know if you like did the exact same thing as I did or you went completely rogue and you're like, oh, inspiration is beautiful. Thank you, Des. And so I want to hear from you. Make sure you go to my Facebook page and send me pictures. Des Butler Jewelry at the Facebook at the Facebook, anyway. <laughs> and so, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Were you safe? Did you wear your mask? Did you put up the windows? Did you wear your gloves? You gotta be safe, jeweler, because um, I watched a video recently, and this is what I'm praying about today for y'all. Um, I watched a video about how epoxy was killing her, how she wasn't safe, she wasn't wearing um, ventilators, she wasn't having the window up, and it totally just destroyed her lungs and is hurting her, and she's having a hard time breathing. It might not ever be able to go epoxy again. So I wanna pray for you. If you have struggled with epoxy, or maybe this is your like first time wearing, you know, doing epoxy, don't be scared, just do the precautions you got this but I want to pray protection for you and if those um maybe you've been affected by it I want to pray that for healing for you so this is the end of the video I'm gonna pray for you and then we'll be done so God I thank you for my viewers God I pray protection for those that are jumping into epoxy or have been into epoxy God I pray they protect them from all the horrible stuff from the skin stuff to the lung stuff just everywhere in between God I just pray protection for them God I pray for healing for those that have been affected by epoxy God I pray that you would heal their bodies God that you would restore their lungs you would restore their skin God for those that um, it's just awful on their skin and their skin's been damaged by it I just pray that you would reverse it and have and have healing over them in Jesus name amen all right guys thank you for tuning in I want to hear what you think I want to see pictures and I'll catch you in the next video bye